Welcome or welcome back on I need help at C-square. In this problem, we will look to write what is called trigonometric ratio for angles T. Okay, so it's very important. Mark the angle on your picture. I think that is good. Because then we can use what you see here. These are what we call the trigonometric ratio. And this is a way to remember. Sine opposite over adjacent. S O H. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. C A H and tangent opposite over adjacent that's the last part E O A. Okay, so let's take a look here. We need to write sine of T. And again, look into this definition that is down on the bottom. Opposite, opposite leg over hypotenuse. Opposite in our case is 8, opposite leg, right? Hypotenuse is always uh, the largest side in a right triangle. And that will be 70 in this case. We don't need to simplify, so we will do that. Cosine of t. Cosine of t, as you see here again, or in this acronym here, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's take a look here a little bit. Adjacent leg. Very important to understand that adjacent stands for adjacent leg. So that is 15, 17. Is the hypotenuse which is adjacent to the angle but be careful that is the hypotenuse so adjacent leg over hypotenuse which is 70 and that's cosine <coughs> we have one more which is tangent and if you notice tangent is uh, defined as opposite leg over adjacent leg. So again, opposite leg over adjacent leg. Important adjacent leg. Okay, 8 over 50. And that's it. These are the three trigonometric ratio for angles, three, uh, angles T. Later you will learn more trigonometric ratio, but that is good enough in this mode. Thank you. And come back and see square for more help.